Hi guys, Micro here. This is my loot from 24 hours of Nex. I thought I'd start strong with these loot from 24 hours series and start with Nex as it's a super fun boss and it's really, really consistent. The next one I'm going to do is probably loot from 24 hours of Clues and loot from 24 hours of God Wars Dungeon 2. Nex is a consistent high GP rate of at least 7 mil an hour. If you get the really lucky drops, you can make upwards of 10 mil an hour very, very easily. So let's get into this video. Okay, we got a Vertus Mask. 5.4 mil, better than nothing. Yeah. Vertus Book is not the best, but it's a drop. That's awesome. <laughs> Second book in an hour, like, what is that? <laughs> Well, this was one lucky hour, 45 mil in one hour, 22.5 mil each. Can't argue with that. Next can have some crazy hours for sure. Oh, Furtus Mask. <laughs> That's the second Furtus Mask. What the hell? Oh, Pernix Boots. Yeah. And we got a rare drop table alongside them. We got some molten glass and we got some flax. <laughs> 19 mil. <laughs> oh, good job, man. Good job. So proud of you. We're going to get a drop as well. You ready? Oh, no. It was bruising restores. Never mind. Hey, we got nice drop. It's the beam that doesn't give a broadcast, but 3 mil. More on Xbox. Come on. Yay, we got a Virtus Mask. And we finally got a drop. It's only like 5.4 mil, but... Uh, after like so long without a drop, I'll take anything. Oh, Torva Full Helm. Why do I keep getting the helms? Huh? <laughs> Bye, Sean. You will be missed. We'll get a drop now. It's fine. Oh, no, we got Bruise and Restores. I'm picking up your bones. I guess I shouldn't laugh at others, really, because it comes back to bite me. I killed myself. Uh, oh my god, are you serious? Fourth Virtus Mask. Oh, uh, I swear I quit this game. Ugh. So as for the price check over all of the 24 hours, it comes to near enough 350 mil. You gotta remember that the 350 mil was all in duos, so this needs to be halved. This then makes the price to be 175 mil for me personally in these 24 hours. The biggest chunk of the money was obviously in Onyx Bolts because they're so consistent and they really do add up over time. All the other drops add up really well as well, even the bruise and restores that we take the note paper for do give an extra nice amount of money by the end. When we move on to the actual drops, I got four Virtus masks. It's so annoying that I got so many of these. I didn't even get a chest at all. So this price check could be so much bigger if I didn't just keep getting helms and gloves and books and whatever. If I actually got a chest or maybe some more legs or some good boots then it might have been even more. So my GPN hour could have easily have been 10 mil rather than 7.3 mil if I just got some better RNG on which drops I got because they all have an equal chance of actually obtaining them and the chance to get four Virtus Helms in 24 hours is actually super low. I also got my two Virtus books. I got some Virtus Robe Legs, which are really nice money. I got some Virtus Gloves, two Torva Helms, two Torva Boots, which are really nice as well. Torva gloves and then Pernix chaps and Pernix boots, which both add over 40 mil, which is great. So 350 mil from this price check, really big, nice loot tab, looking pretty beefy. Definitely would do next again for 24 hours because 175 mil and 7.3 mil an hour is super good in my books. Ending the video off, looking into the GP rates for these 24 hours. The total kills from the 24 hours was 328. This averaged for 13 to 14 kills an hour. Honestly, it just depended who I went with and what auras we had up and stuff. If we both had good auras up, we could get around 15, maybe even 16 kills in an hour. But then other times when we didn't have any auras up, it'd be like 12 kills an hour. So it averaged to 13 to 14. As for the duo split for the 24 hours, it was 175 mil. This worked out to be 7.3 mil GP an hour. 
The total rare drops that I got was 15. This made for the drop rate to be around 1 in 21 to 1 in 22. I hear from reports that the drop rate is 1 in 16 to 1 in 20, so I wasn't too far above the drop rate, but I was a little bit above it. This is where it gets a little bit disappointing. I got 6 helms, 2 books, 2 gloves, 2 legs, 3 boots and no chests. For instance, if I swapped 2 of those 6 helms and made them into chests, the GPNL would go to 9 mil just from swapping those items. But say I got 3 chests and 3 helms, then it's over 10 mil an hour. I got pretty unlucky with the chest drops not even getting one in these 24 hours. So hopefully when you do it, you'll get a bit more RNG and get a little bit more GPN hour as well. All in all, still really good GPN hour, even getting that many helms. 7.3 mil GPN hour is definitely nothing to complain about. So let me know in the comments down below if you have any ideas for future loot from 24 hour videos. Like I said, I'll probably do the Clue Scrolls or the God Wars Dungeon 2 next. As always, give the video a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you're new for future content, and until next time, see ya!